Hey everyone, I'm James from Zen Systems and today we're going to take a look at creating an audio conference using the 3CX web client application. Now this can either be done as an ad hoc conference or we can schedule a conference and send out invitations to our attendees. This includes a calendar invite that contains all the relevant information on how to join the conference. So let's see how we get on with it. When we come into the 3CX web client, we typically open it up under the people pane. And to do a conference, we're going to click on schedule conference. Now, we're going to do an ad hoc one to start with. Um, and what that means is ultimately we're going to set an audio conference to start immediately. So we make sure that we've toggled the audio one and we make sure we've toggled the now button. Under subject, I'm going to call it afternoon call. And under notes to participants, you can put anything you like. I'll just repeat the message. Um, it's important to note that you can't actually start the meeting unless you put a subject in. You can leave the notes field blank. Under calendar, You've got a number of options. You can use Google, Office 365, Outlook Online, iCal, or um, if it's a conference call with just people within your organization, you can do a 3CX direct email one. I'm gonna choose Office 365. And when you click on Create Meeting, it's gonna open the Office Calendar for your Office 365 um, account. And in here, you can see it's created an event they've called it afternoon call and all the settings are ultimately from four o'clock it's saying importantly in the notes down here you can see that it says joining info employees connected to 3CX can join by dialing 700 and enter the pin number now if you have an external number set up for conference calls this will also be presented in here um, but on this occasion um, we're just using an internal one so you click save and then you can go back to um, the call itself. And then to join that, we're going to dial 700 and enter the conference ID. So I'm gonna click on the dialer, I'm gonna dial 700, I'm gonna hit call. The browser extension pops up and asks me to enter the conference ID, 9918321. followed by hash. Now, you can see here that I have now been connected to the conference. Now, if you're the only participant within a conference, what you will hear in your headphones is the hold music for the conference. Currently, the default hold music for 3CX, which is choice. <clears throat> so we're going to need somebody else to join this conference call. So I will just add somebody else from the organization. Once they join, you'll see them pop up. There we go. So you can see that John Smith 200 is in the conference and William Brown 202 is also in the conference. And as the person who organized the conference, you can actually toggle their microphones on and off. So you have complete control of this conference. You can also end their participation in the conference by clicking the red phone. Now, if one of the people dropped out of the conference, you can see that it says William Brown got disconnected um, and if you press the green button that will redial William Brown and he'll be able to answer that call and be back in on the call. Now to end the conference you can press the red button there and if William doesn't disconnect you can click his red button there as well and that ends the conference call. Now, you can see here we've got a conference call that was here earlier. We're going to add another conference call, and this time we're going to do an audio call, but we want to schedule it for later. So under audio conference, we're going to select type audio. Uh, when, we're going to select later, and you'll see that this now changes the look of the panel, and we've now got a date, so we can select the date, 2nd of May. We're then going to change this to 4 o'clock, 
you can use the buttons above and below to increase the increments and then you toggle AM or PM and we leave it at 30 minutes and we're going to call it an evening call evening call again now You've got the option to either toggle or untoggle enable announcements. Enabling announcements means that when the user joins the conference, they'll be asked to record their name. If they do record their name, when they join the conference, they will be announced as they are joining. So we're going to enable announcements and we're going to choose the calendar. In this case, I'm going to stick with Office 365 and then I'm going to create the meeting. When I click create, it's going to open up my calendar. It's going to open the event up. And you'll see here that we have evening call. Uh, I can invite other attendees. So at this point, nobody else, because I've used the Office 365 calendar, nobody else has been invited. And I've chosen the 2nd of May between 4 and 4.30. So it's always good to check that the information has been pushed correctly into the Office 365 calendar. So 2nd of May, 4 to 4.30. I'm not going to repeat it. I don't need a room. And here you can see that the invite contains the information, i.e. the pin, to join that conference. So now what's interesting is at, at this time, because I haven't chosen any participants to join, the system doesn't know who's joining. So each participant will have to dial 700 at the time of the conference and enter the pin number to join. So I'm not going to add any uh, participants on this occasion, but we're going to hit save. That will then add it to my calendar. If I go back into here, you can see here that I've got evening call May the 2nd at 4 p.m. And you can also find the conference ID there. So the next thing to show you is what it looks like if you create um, a scheduled conference using 3CX attendees. So I'm going to delete this one. And I'm going to add an audio conference. I'm going to do it for later. But I want to show you what it looks like when we invite internal participants. So we're going to select the 2nd of May, uh, 4 p.m., 30 minutes. We're going to call it, I don't know, evening call. We're going to enable announcements. But then on the calendar settings, we're going to select 3CX direct email. So key with this is that you can choose internal participants and we're going to go with Michael Williams and William Brown. So what happens now is that when I send, when I create the meeting, should I say, these individuals will receive an email from the phone system with the details on how to join the conference. Crucially, the system will also call each one of these participants at 4 p.m. on May the 2nd because it has their details and it knows their extension numbers. And that is that. Thank you so much for watching our video today. We really appreciate you taking the time. And if you've got any comments for us, leave them down below. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see anything else from us.